everybody, Sam here, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to manage and edit presets when you're not in that actual preset. Now we might need to do this if we look at a preset we are going to switch to and we notice that maybe something seems off and before I go to that preset, I want to just tweak or edit it and not kind of do it right in front of my student. If you do it while you are teaching and your student sees you modify a preset, it's not a big deal. I've done it many times when I've switched to a feed, I've gone like, uh oh, let's fix, do 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 do, you know, and we just fix it. But how can you do it without actually being in that preset? There's two ways. Right down here, you can see that I have all my different presets. Now, this only works if a preset is actually already set up and has something in that particular feed. For example, I can't modify preset number 12 right now when I'm not in it because I don't have anything set up just yet. But I'm looking and I know that I want to transition at some point to preset number five. Now, preset number five looks a little wonky. I really want it to be over this slide right here, this part of my screen, but my custom area seems a bit off. If I was to transfer right on over and transition to that, you can see, uh-oh, my preset is kind of somewhere up here. And that's not really where I want it to be. So what I can do is I can actually click on the number five and I actually clicked right on the number and I'm going to go to edit. Now, if you notice, I am not actually transitioned there. I know it looks like I am, but I'm not. I'm actually still in my preset number one. And you could see it because that on the bottom is the box that is in blue. So this is what my student is seeing. The box number five is orange because it means I'm editing it. So now I can grab this custom area and just put it right where I want it. Now my student isn't seeing this. It's actually just an editing box. They're still only seeing what's in number one. And now I can close it out. And you can see that I have fixed my preset number five and I can transition to it nice and smoothly. And my student has never seen me make any modifications to that. Okay, another thing I could do, let me go back to number one, is let's say I want to change the background on something. So maybe in preset number 10, I don't want to have my jungle background. I want to have a different background before I transition over to it. So once again, I can just go ahead and click on number 10 and I can click on to edit it. Now I'm just in an edit. My student is not seeing any of this and I can go ahead and choose a different custom background. Maybe I'd rather be at the beach than the jungle. <laughs> I can even click on little things and then I could close it out. You can look in my feed that it is now showing that number 10 has been changed. However, I have been in number one this whole time. My students have not seen anything different and then I can transition and there I am. I could go ahead and, and click and, and clean it up a little bit. So that's one way that you can modify your effects while, I mean, modify your presets. And, and you could do anything. You can add effects. You could do everything as if you were in that preset, but you are not quite in the preset according to the student. They're not going to see anything different. You stay with your preset that you were in originally. Another way to do it is you can click on your preset list right here and you can go ahead and see there's this little eye next to a preset so like next to preset four you could go right into it you can click it right there and you can add an effect as well I added my group effects and you could do this the whole time while uh, being in a different preset so if you look down here it's showing I'm in preset number 10 as that is blue and it is showing that I am editing preset number four because that's the one that's in orange. So then when I close this out and I go ahead and transition over to preset number four, my effects will be there. So these are two ways that you can go ahead and I really don't wanna have these here. <laughs> these are two ways that you can modify your presets when not actually in them. Uh, again, there, the only caveat is that there has to be something set up in there to begin with. You have to have a preset set up. So just anything there to take it from an empty preset 
to an actual uh, preset with effects or a background, and that'll allow you to go ahead and modify and edit it. I really hope that this was helpful to you. I think it's a lifesaver to me uh, to be able to modify presets when not actually in them and, and get them set up. If you notice that something is wonky or you want to transition to something and not just do it right in front of the student, which again, I still don't think is a big deal, but if you need to do it a little bit more smoothly, you could do it all behind the scenes. I hope you found this super helpful. Thank you for watching.